Have you done the math on what increasing your closing rate by say 5% can do for your company? That kind of extra revenue can buy you a whole lot of marketing resources or sales support staff. Wouldn't you agree? So how do you win that extra 5%? May sound tiny, but in the big picture, it can easily add up to six figures or more. The key is putting in equal effort to your sales and marketing value proposition so that it aligns with the quality of your solution. Chapter 10 is chock full of initiatives you can take to increase the perceived value and influence your deal success rate. I revealed 10 ways you can achieve this with electrifying sales demos. And did you know that according to Forrester, 90% of B2B sellers don't use the sales enablement material because it's irrelevant, outdated, and difficult to locate or customize. I'll show you how to avoid the statistics with 20 types of sales enablement collateral you should include in your marketing program roadmap. I dig into the who, the what, the how, and where to get this done. But it doesn't stop there. I also break down the architecture behind high converting proposals, how to create case studies and testimonials, and finally, my 11 golden rules of negotiation. If there's just one takeaway from this chapter, is to spark productive conversations between your sales and marketing team. Go for it.